And then his mother put baby Moses in a basket and sent him down the river. Why? Maybe he was crying all night and his mother and father needed a break. And maybe his grandmother was in town to help out, but she went to bed early because she had jet lag after her flight from Dallas. She did it because Pharaoh ordered all the male babies to be killed. That's really in the Bible? Yes. And Mom will let me read Judy Bloom. Sheila the Great changed my life. Back to Moses. He was found by Pharaoh's daughter and went on to lead the Israelites out of Egypt because even when you feel lost, God has a plan for us all. What was his plan for the male babies who didn't get rescued? It's tough to say. There was a decree to throw them in the river. Innocent babies? That is not cool. That was Pharaoh. That was not God. But according to you, it's all part of God's plan. How do you sleep at night? Why are you watching the Ten Commandments? I've just been thinking about God. Why? I don't understand how God that's supposed to be good lets such bad things happen. Oh. Can you think about it while I watch Yo! MTV Raps? Sure. Dope. What's the move? Do you believe in God? Yeah. But in the Bible, he does all kinds of mean stuff. If he's good, why would he do that? Maybe he just wants to show he's in charge. Hulk Hogan's nice, but in the ring, he will mess you up. That's either really smart or really stupid. That's what I do. Do you ever wonder if it's all made up? Look, this is Texas. We like football, we like God. And beef. Beef's up there, too. But how do you know there's a God? See that girl dancing in them shorts? There's a God. All right, you two, get ready for bed. Church in the morning. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I don't think I believe in God anymore. What did you do to her? Hey, she came to me. I mean, I took the ball and ran with it. Look at you with the sports analogy. We're both evolving. Ooh, evolution, another thing I'll teach you about. I don't care what you believe, you are going to church tomorrow. I don't want to. It might be fun. The new youth pastor is starting. So? We can attack his belief system together. Like the Wonder Twins of Atheism. See? Your brother's excited. Do you just want the new guy to have a bad day? I can want two things. Well, hey, y'all. I'm Pastor Rob. I'm uh, guessing everyone knows what this is. The Bible. That's right. That's right. What else is it? The Word of God. Excellent. Excellent. You know what else it is? It's just a book. I like him. It's a good book. Got a lot of great stories, instructions on how to live life, but God is more than just a book. God is real. God is everywhere. And God loves you. He's losing me. I bounced around from job to job after college. Never really had a plan for what was next. Until one day, I felt the Lord call me to a service. Yes, Missy Cooper, right? How'd you know? Let's see, Mary's your mother, Sheldon's your brother, and I hear you are one heck of a pitcher. Do my homework, y'all. Homework? He's wanting me back? So what's on your mind, Missy? Is it okay that I'm wondering if God is real? I can take this one. Yes. He is absolutely right. He is? I usually am. You can't just believe something because people say it's true. You have to question it. It's kind of like the, uh, the scientific method, right, Sheldon? Did my homework on you, too. But what if I decide he's not real? Look, I'm not asking you to believe what I believe. I'm just asking you to think about what you believe. Sounds like you're already doing that. 